Hey guys, uh, I don't know if you can see that pretty good. I'm uh, bringing you pretty much a video of peppers, dried peppers, seasonings, and seeds. I'm looking to do a trade on seeds here shortly. I want peppers I don't have, possibly tomatoes as well. Uh, whatever you guys recommend, just inbox me or comment, like, subscribe, it doesn't matter. Uh, just go ahead and do what you gotta do, get a hold of me, and we'll go from there. Alright, right here we have boot jalokias. And I'm having a slight problem with the boots. I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, they're solid. But you get to some of them, and they have these really soft spots. I noticed when I cut a couple open earlier in the season, there was a ton of capsaicin in them. It was dripping onto the table. I don't know if that has something to do with it. They have these cool little wicked tails on them as well. Uh, this one's probably the worst. It has probably the longest tail out of all of them. And it's probably the softest, as you can see. See that? And I don't know why. It's annoying. Uh, let me see if I can grip this better. Nope, cutting my face out. And here you go. Here's a Trinidad perfume. This is actually a really good pepper for uh, adding to any dish. Uh, you can add it to your kid's dish. Any dish you want, it's going to do really good with. If you dry them, it has a really good smoky flavor to it. And it has a little tail too. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, there you go. And it's actually a very good pepper to dry or chop up and just eat. Uh, these, I've noticed, they say they don't have any heat. Mine had a little bit of a bite to it. Nothing that would hurt me or my kids. But it had a decent little bite to it. I guess it's what I'm growing it in, that river bottom dirt. Probably gives it a little bit more of an oomph. Uh, this is a Scotch Bonnet Extra Hot. It's an extra hot variety of Scotch Bonnet, but they do call it a Jamaican Red Pod. When I bought the pack of seeds, it said Jamaican Red Pod. I didn't even know the Scotch Bonnet was on there, and I look up the other day, like a week ago, and I found out it was Scotch Bonnet. Someone told me to grow them. Well, I am. <laughs> I didn't even recognize it either. Silly me. Uh, there's a bunch of little Thai peppers. If you guys know any... Uh, What's going on with these boot jalokias? Uh, let me know. I'm getting over a cold too. Sorry, guys. And uh, let me know. So I could change something up in my gardening technique. But these things, like I said, this was picked today at 9 o'clock. See that? It's already going bad. I tried sending some to Ted. He inboxed me and said, man, they're going bad. Uh, the scotch bonnet and everything else worked, but... And the habaneros. These are pretty big habaneros. It's not a giant variety. I don't know why they're this big, but the plant is putting out some massive size habaneros. I've had bigger, I think Ted's were bigger than this that I sent. They're very big habaneros. Uh, but that's that for that. Let's walk over here and I'll show you the dry seasonings. Uh, this is the extra hot scotch bonnet. I haven't tried this on anything, but it seems to smell good. I taste a little bit of it. So far, not too bad. I have a ton of ghost seasoning. Just pure dried up ghost, grind it up. Talk about nasty in a bottle. Then we have, this, uh, this is unbelievably hot. The seven pot, just dust, grind it up. Grind it up seven pots. And it's the primo too. Um, next we have the habanero. Which is pretty good, I like it. Here's the AKA Thai. I don't know what it is, so we'll just roll with Thai pepper. If anybody knows what those peppers are, let me know. There's so many peppers that look like it. Uh, habanero, it's probably one of my favorites. It's a mild and it has great flavor. I just put this on my eggs this morning. It's very good. It's the Fresno. I love that stuff. I eat it normal. Uh, this is the sweet pepper. I haven't done anything with it. I might make a salsa with it. Just to give that sweet flavor. Um, this is my Trinidad perfume. Uh, I've been using a lot of this dust. I've been drying them, grinding them, and using it as fast as I get them. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some pictures real quick. Stay tuned. Uh, my camera's about to
Do you like those uh, pictures? My camera cuts off at five minutes because I got the dual view. This view right here, plus this view going. So it cuts off at five minutes. I believe I was at the Trinidad Perfume. Now I got a jar of just dry ghost chilies. Uh, another jar of dry ghost chilies. Looks like the Seven Pot Primos. Then I have uh, just a Fresno and a Thai, uh, Cayenne dried. I haven't done anything with it yet, so. Uh, little Thai chilies right here. Uh, these are the habaneros. I'll just dry them up. Kept a bunch of seeds out of them. And these are the seasoning blends that I made. This is a Southwest blend, if it'll actually zoom. Southwest blend with Thai and jalapeno. It's actually very good. I put that in a shaker. Same with this. It is a ghost infused seasoning salt. Uh, I love them. They're actually very good. I put the seasoning salt on almost everything. Uh, black and Fresno. That's what I call it. Black and Fresno. This is good. I took it to work, threw it on a couple pieces of chicken, served it. They loved it. Uh, it's just internet recipes. Nothing special. You can get them off right offline. And here is the seed trade. I want to trade some seeds, uh, but I don't want any I already have. Uh, inbox me if I want to grow that or possibly looks interesting to me. We'll set something up and we'll get something traded. Here's seven pot primos. I have a decent amount of seeds for that. Uh, I put very effing hot because they are very effing hot. Um, ghost seeds. I have a ton of ghost seeds right there, and I have more right there, and I'm not done uh, de seeding. Uh, this is a possible cross. Uh, I tried crossing a ghost with a Trinidad. Uh, the ghost being the father and the Trinidad being the mother. Well, it took, it grew, it did not look like any bit of the, what am I trying to say, the Trinidad perfume. It looked like a ghost pepper. That's what it looked like. It was deformed. It looked nothing like a pod. I'm keeping the seeds. I'm going to grow it for next year. Hopefully... I'll have a good cross out of it. That'd be awesome to have a pepper no one has. Uh, then grow it a few more seasons, get it stable, then produce the seeds. Uh, this is the extra hot Scotch Bonnet Jamaican Red Pod. I have a buttload of seeds for that if any of you guys are interested. I have a ton of habanero seeds. Uh, this is only a few of them. I have more elsewhere. And I have a ton of Trinidad perfume seeds. Uh, I have two mixes. I don't know what they are. One is a hot pepper mix and two bags or an I don't know mix. I have a tequila hybrid pepper mix. Well, it's not a mix. It's just a tequila hybrid. Uh, not a lot of seeds there, so I probably won't trade because i got to grow it next year. The birds I probably won't get rid of, so let's get rid of these. Those are no-go. Uh, I just have a standard giant bell pepper and Anaheim. I don't think you guys are going to be interested in any of these. The super sweet, maybe it's super sweet. You guys might be interested in that. And the banana look a little brown, look a little bad, but they might sprout still. I'm going to try it before I get them away. So those are the pepper seeds that I have. I have a lot, but some of them I'm just not going to give away because I don't have a lot of. So if you guys see any of these, and this is a boot jalokia. I just write ghost because boot jalokia is a lot longer than ghost, so... There you guys go. That's about it. Uh, if you guys are interested in any seasonings too, let me know. Because, I mean, I could put a seasoning in a Ziploc and send it to you. Or just powder or dried chilies. Let me know and we'll figure something out and get it working. Alright, uh, and I am a fan of uh, Cutco, by the way. I have a large selection of Cutco knives. I am a Cutco fan. I know a lot of people are not. I had had nothing wrong with them. I haven't even had someone to come out to uh, service them yet, sharpen them. I am a Cutco fan. Yeah, that capsaicin, you see that? It stained my knife. I washed it several times with Dawn, ran it through the dishwasher, and it's still bad. There you go. Alright, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, inbox me, share the videos, tell your friends.